Hey, welcome everybody. I am Kurt from Ballistics, the number one ballistic calculator and also from Bond Precision. And all we want to do today is get you kind of used to the app. It's a great app. It has a lot of features and a lot of functions, whether you're reloading or whether you're shooting factory ammunition out of your favorite rifle. So let's jump right into this and take a look. So all we want to do here first is open the app. When you open the app, you're going to find yourself on the trajectory screen if you're new to the app. Now the trajectory screen is where all the data goes, where all the inputs need to be to calculate a firing solution. On the bottom you'll see where it says favorites. Once you've created something that works well for you, you can save that into favorites. Then there's rangefinder. Rangefinder has a default reticle and we can change that as well. Next to that is target. And in here, if you click the plus in the upper left, you'll see we have a lot of options here for a lot of information based on the day at the range you're out shooting or hunting. Next to that is HUD. Now HUD stands for Heads Up Display. And what HUD does is allows us to quickly change distance, wind speed, the wind origin, and any lead time for moving targets. You will have to select a profile in order for that to work. Now let's go back to trajectory. At the top here where it says ballistic coefficient, the little icon to the right, let's click on that. This brings us into the library of bullets. Now these are not factory loaded bullets, they're just, they're just simply bullets. You have a lot of options here. So if we were shooting 243, these are all in order by manufacturer, whether that's Berger, Combined Technology, Hornady, and so on. Let's click back up on Bullet Diameter, and at the top where it says Loads, let's click on Loads. Now here is all of the information that you're going to find on factory loaded ammunition also in order. At the top here where it says LITS, let's click on LITS. Now this is all the G7 drag model and if we click on, well let's pick a 284 for example, you'll see just like the bullet library on the G1 version you have basically the same thing only everything will contain the G7. Click back on bullet diameter at the top and other. Now other is where we can create custom BCs or calculate BCs based on velocity and we'll get into that in later videos. Let's click on loads and let's just select one real quick. Let's do a 25-06 Remington and we'll scroll down and we'll pick We'll pick a Winchester 85 grain ballistic silver tip. Now when you do that, that brings all of the factory ammunition into the trajectory screen. One important thing here is your zero range, you want to make sure that that is correct. Most people zero at 100, but a lot of people zero at 2 and beyond. So you can change that simply by clicking into it and changing that number to whatever you're running. The sight height. So let's see how we measure sight height. So it's a pretty simple measurement. All we're doing is measuring here from the center of the bolt to the center of the scope. You can do that with a tape measure or a ruler and it'll get you right where you need to be. And you can also change this just simply by clicking into it and changing that number. Now if you're zeroing the gun, you want to make sure that you select zero atmosphere and the blue pin in the top right, click that. That will bring us in all the current data based on our, our relative location and you'll want to also do that into current atmosphere. Now for wind, we're going to have a complete video on wind, but let's just take a look at it here real quick. Now by pinching with two fingers, you can change this blue line. So if you're shooting from zero out to, say, 
roughly 800 yards there, you can you can make that happen. And then if you click the blue, or not the blue, but the uh, gray button, that will bring up a, a little bit more of the wind uh, data. So you can change this by shifting it right or left. You can click into the velocity and change that as well. Now click the X in the center left. That closes that out and saves that information. And then click the X at the top left, and that closes out your wind and adds all that information. You've got your maximum range. This is set at 1,000 yards. In your minimum range, let's say this is 200. That's our zero for this. Now the elevation unit is MOA. You can change this to MRAD or any of the, any of the other options below that. So let's select MRAD, and we're going to change the windage to MRAD as well. The values are going to stay at 1 and 1. And let's just go ahead and calculate this. Right at the bottom here where it says Calculate Trajectory. What that does is it brings in all that information, and it puts it into the bullet trajectory solution. So we know at 350 yards, we're going to have to dial 0.7 mils for a total drop of 9.3 inches. So that's going to conclude this video. I hope it helps you out and stay tuned. We have a lot more coming. We're going to get very, very in-depth into this, into this app and help you learn a little bit and help you function this. Uh, there's a, it's a very robust app, so there's a lot to learn. So stay tuned, folks. Thanks for watching.